teacher. Hello students. Welcome to today's lesson. I hope you learned about capital account balance in your previous non-plasma lesson. In today's lesson, we will discuss trade, globalization, and economic integration. But first, I want you to answer the following question by discussing in groups. What do you know about globalization? I hope you've defined globalization. And now, let's discuss the answer together. Globalization does not have a specific meaning and definition. However, it can be seen as follows. Globalization is the system of interaction among countries of the world in order to develop the global economy. It refers to the integration and interconnection of economies and societies all over the world. Globalization has different dimensions. Some of the dimensions are economic, social, political, cultural, technological, and others. Seen from economic dimension, globalization is the process of integrating an economy with world market. The increase in openness of economies to international trade, financial flow, and foreign direct investment. Students, in the 1990s, globalization was used as one of the development strategies by major international institutions, such as the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund, abbreviated as IMF. It has been viewed as a potential for bringing least developed countries out from social and economic stagnation. Globalization is considered to bring benefits to all parties based on the following prominent principle. The prominent principle is that if countries are engaged in voluntary exchange or international trade based on specialization along comparative advantage, then globalization would bring benefit to all participants of international trade. It is argued that specialization would help countries to supply goods and services at lower price in the international market. 
The source of these comparative advantages can be natural endowment or acquired endowment, such as superior knowledge, technology, and specialization. According to this principle, least developed countries, including Ethiopia, are considered to have comparative advantage on natural resources based on labor-intensive industries. I hope you now have some idea about the concept of globalization. And now, let's proceed to our discussion on the opportunities and challenges of globalization to our country.